Welcome to Bariloche. Make sure you come to Cerro Campanario. The views are just outrageous. Sunshine and probably the most insane views I think I've ever seen. I feel like I've said that everywhere in Patagonia. <laughs> just wow. Wow, Patagonia. Thank you. Ah, so this is where the secret beer garden is. Cheers. We're Craig and Kirsty, a full-time travel couple sharing our adventures here on YouTube. We upload new travel content every week from different parts of the world. Right now we're making our way through the entire country of Argentina and exploring everything it has to offer. If you enjoy seeing new places and real experiences, please subscribe and welcome to the adventures of Tide Not Travellers. Welcome to Bariloche, the Lake District of Argentina. We have literally just picked up our hire car from this place called Dakar rental car. Highly recommend it. This video isn't sponsored, but they've been so friendly and they gave us a free upgrade as well. There's a couple of circuits to do here in Bariloche area. One is called Circuito Chico. We're going to do that today because it's a bit shorter and tomorrow we're going to do the Seven Lakes tour. So let's jump in the car and go and explore. Sun Queen because the sun is out today and we've got a road trip ahead of us and some sights to see. <sighs> After getting stuck in Calafate for so long, we are like super excited to finally get through that bottleneck and get here in Valoche. And now we've got a car for the first time in months of traveling. We've got our own car to get out there. <laughs> I'm this excited. Craig's way more excited. He loves driving and having the freedom to see it with our own wheels. It's so good to have the freedom of our own car. I can't wait. We can stop anywhere we like, see anything we like for a whole two days. Let's go. Our first stop along Circo Chico, how we say it, small circuit, uh, is Cerro Campanario, which is a chairlift. So we're going to take a chairlift up to the viewpoint. It only took us about 25-30 minutes to get here from the centre of Bariloche and we got parked up really easy and now we're just going to go in and buy some tickets. Chairlift time! <laughs> Bags on the front. I will try not to drop my bag like I famously drop my skis when we go on a chairlift skiing. <laughs> First time. <laughs> Smoothly done there. Let me take the cap. Oh, let's go skiing. Yeah, it's far too sunny and beautiful and green to be skiing. Oh, because skiing isn't sunny and beautiful. Yeah, true. <laughs> you get a beautiful, sunny, powdery day, that is. This is not a bad start to our first day exploring Bariloche! Yeah, the views behind are pretty good. I'm so excited! We're still in Patagonia, we're going further up in the country, but the views are still absolutely stunning. Oh, this chairlift is just beautiful. We've got like the calmest, sunniest weather. We could not have asked for better weather for this. Um, so just to let you know, the tickets for the chairlift ascent and descent is 1,200 pesos per person, which with the current exchange rate, it's definitely gotten worse since we've been uh, traveling around Argentina, uh, both the blue rate and the official rate. Um, is now about £4.50 for 1,200 pesos. So yeah, pretty good. <laughs> not a bad price for an ascent and a descent with views. Ah, oh, can you see the views behind us? That is the views. Not that I want to wish it away, but coming back down is going to be insane. <laughs> <laughs> also, when we get up there, it's going to be insane. I don't even know what's up there. Maybe... Likely a restaurant with a viewpoint. There could be some <laughs> ski slopes as well. I, I wouldn't say no. Yeah. Bariloche is known, obviously, for its skiing, but we are here when it's warm and sunny, so we're not here to ski. <laughs> it feels a lot like Lake Tahoe, though. Yeah. Beautiful lake surrounded by mountains with uh, well, snow-capped mountains. But for those of you who seek winter all year round and love to ski, oh, head here in a few months. <laughs> <laughs> Just give it a month or two. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh. 
if it's the only thing you do in Bariloche, make sure you come to Cerro Campanario. Get the chairlift to the top because the views are just outrageous. They are. Look at this. I mean, we love the Lake District in England enough, but here in Argentina's Lake District, you've got Patagonian mountains in the background. It's just, <laughs> it's like the icing on the cake. It's insane. We just stood here for a few minutes looking out and Craig just said to me, am I, am I actually seeing this with my eyes? Is this, is this real? Like, Yeah, we've completely lucked out with the weather today and just looking out in a western direction towards Chile, along the lakes, out towards the Andes. It's absolutely stunning. What a backdrop. <laughs> and we were like trying to figure out what to do today, whether to go for a hike or whether to go and see if we can hire out a kayak. Uh, but we decided we would go for the hike instead because that way you're going to hike and see some more views. Whereas if we get the kayak, then we're going to spend an hour sort of doing it wrong. I wish we could do both. <laughs> but yeah, we, we just sort of spend a bit of time on the water. There's like beaches around and just people relaxing and just it's just like paradise here really. Could easily just lie on the beach all day and relax, but we want to go and see as much as we can. We've only got two days here to explore with a car in Bariloche. Today we're doing this, tomorrow we're going to do the Seven Lakes. Before arriving in Bariloche, we had heard about the beauty of Saquito Chico and couldn't wait to see it for ourselves. After reaching the top of Cerro Campanario on this beautiful sunny day, we were amazed by these views, with forests, lakes and mountains in all directions. It's easy to see why National Geographic voted this view as one of the top views in the world. I can see cake too. <laughs> Even at the top of the chairlift viewpoint, the cafe has got vegan and veggie options. Did not expect that. If you love Bariloche. <laughs> That was a great little coffee stop. I can definitely see why this is referred to as the Lake District of Argentina. Incredible. It would be really good to go kayaking, but I've no idea whether that's even possible to hire them. But we're going to go and do a hike after this and carry on around the circuit. So just before we make the descent back down on the chairlift, we've come over to the other side where there's another viewpoint and it's really lovely. Oh, I can't see you down this way. It's really lovely and quiet here. So nice. It's like a little sun trap here as well. Gracias. Ah, going back down is just as stunning as I thought it would be. <laughs> just a nice gentle breeze sunshine and probably the most insane views I think I've ever seen. I feel like I've said that everywhere in Patagonia. <laughs> okay, back to the car and on to the next place. Get some lunch. <laughs> Park National Huel Huapi. Let's go and see it. Right inside the National Park Tourist Centre, there's this little restaurant, cafe thing, grab yourself some food. 
It's a bit of a DIY situation. You just choose your sandwich, it's Craig's obviously. Stick it in, heat it up. And then this is my one, see how it's doing. Nice. A little bit longer, got to have a bit of melted cheese. And we got ourselves a pretty nice spot on one of the benches outside to eat our lunch. I'm just pretty interested in Craig's lunch. <laughs> but look at the views. Ah, beautiful day. This is definitely the warmest I've been in Patagonia. <laughs> wow. <laughs> These views are stunning. We just went to check inside the information centre and you can do obviously do boat tours around the lakes which we would love to do but you've got to book them in town ahead of time and we want to do the hike today so you know just not enough time to do all these things but we kind of feel like we're missing out by not going on the lake but we're gonna hike and have views of it all day we'll have to do that another day After stopping for lunch at the Tourist Information Centre, we've driven a kilometre further along the road and we've just started the trail to Sendero Chero Xiao Xiao. Yeah, the trail is really nice so far. It's like all tree lined, but it's going to take us to an awesome viewpoint and we are going to take about an hour to get there and an hour back, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Depending on how quick we are. Yeah. Speedy. Then jump back in the car and finish off seeing more of uh, Sokito Chico. It's actually possible to do the whole 60 kilometers hiking. You can start it in the city, you can start it in the town of Bariloche, uh, but obviously we're just going to do a section of it by car today. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but obviously we've hired a car so we can do the whole thing today and just stop off and see these sights along the way. It's, really it's a nice. beautiful temperature for hiking today and walking through this forest is just delightful. <laughs> Can't wait to see the viewpoint. Also want to point out that everywhere we've been today the parking has been free for all the things we've done and even just now here at the start of this trail there's a car park and a place to grab yourself a coffee and we filled up a water bottle for free. It's really nice. <laughs> already getting pretty stunning. We've been walking for just under 40 minutes. I've already come to a beautiful viewpoint. I'm guessing we must be nearly there. So it's taken us 46 minutes of walking through trees and shade and now we've come out into the sun and we are at the top of Chero Xiao Xiao with these stunning views. Just wow. <laughs> wow Patagonia, thank you. Yeah, it's pretty impressive. This is just such epic nature. The mountains, the trees, the lakes. And we're lucky enough to be up it's here by ourselves for now. And it's so warm up here, that yeah. sun. Bouncing off the off the lake. It's kind of tempting to head down there and go for a swim. It would be so nice. The view from Chow Chow Peak is peaceful and again mind-blowingly beautiful, overlooking the Chow Chow Peninsula and the whole Saquito Chico Loop. You can see lakes Moreno, Lopez, and Papilla Peaks, and the Tristeza branch of Noal Wapi Lake. We were lucky enough to have the peak to ourselves for a while and enjoyed some time taking in these views in the sunshine before making our way back down the trail. It is nice to be back in the shade after sitting in the sun and enjoying the view. And also heading downhill is a nice feeling too. <laughs> I'm gonna head back to the car and then drive a little bit further around Sokito Chico and find ourselves some more views 
and maybe a beer or something to cool off. <laughs> making it for one final viewpoint. Ooh, these eagles. <laughs> We've made it to our last viewpoint of the day, Punto Panoramico, and we made it just before sunset. It's just the perfect time to arrive here. You've got that beautiful yellow golden hue on the horizon above all the mountains surrounding us so beautiful it's just a short drive from where we parked to do the hike and you can see the hotel which is by the tourist center um, where we parked to get lunch and then I don't know if you can see that hill just in front of the mountain in the background that's the peak that we just climbed to the top of this is all facing west towards Chile and uh, the Andes mountain chain the water is like glass it's so still and yeah, it was pretty hot just literally like an hour or two ago when we were up there we were in the sunshine cooking. And now the sun's gone down, it's instantly gone chilly. <laughs> yeah, as we look towards chilly. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> so yeah, we just thought we'd finish the day here, get one final view because, you know, you just can't get enough of these views. <laughs> no, absolutely can't. And then there is a Patagonia Brewery just to the side there. And we're going to go over there and get a drink afterwards. Yeah, drive our... back about a kilometre back down the road and get a beer to finish the day. Yeah, and that's our, uh, our day here in Saquito Chico. Yeah, I recommend a couple of days here, I wish we had longer. Also our day started late because we couldn't start till like 11. Yeah, to pick the up the car. It would have been nice to have those few extra hours. But yeah. you know, we've seen everything. Really recommend the chairlift to start with because that just gives you the yes. chance to see it all <laughs> yeah. in one go. So that's that literally good. is a, a 360 yeah. viewpoint. You can yeah. see back towards Bariloche and out west towards Chile as well. There's a few squawking eagles here as well, oh, just to add to the Patagonian effect. <laughs> a barking little dog as well, <laughs> seems to be enjoying himself. <laughs> this is the place to come to at the end of the day. There's a lot of people Enjoying, just coming here yeah. to watch the sun go down and just see the color of this beautiful sky. I'm gonna turn this way now. <laughs> <laughs> Chico. So we just walk yeah. down and fill up the beer. Yes. Enjoy the beer. The Gracias. Beer. Cheers. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. So we just grabbed a couple of cups from Patagonia Cerveza. They give you a couple of coins. It's 5.50 and then we have to go down here and get some beer. Apparently there's a beer garden this way. Ah, so this is where the secret beer garden is. This is so cool. The secret cerveza. I don't get why you have to buy your beer tokens up there and then you pay for food here, but whatever. And also you walk quite a long way through the gardens. You come to an area where you think you're going to get beer and it's all just shut it off and shut down. It looks closed. You can't get into the main brewery without a booking because it's so busy in there. And then uh, we met some fairly Larry. And then, and then people who'd obviously come from here. <laughs> <laughs> so here we are in the secret beer garden. Yeah, it's really cool. Look at this jewelry guy. He wants more than a beer. <laughs> Another successful day exploring in Patagonia. We've got our beers, hopefully going to get some food as well. Cheers! Cheers! Cheers. 
Join us next time as we head to Villa La Angostura before driving the route to explore the famous Seven Lakes by car. This scenic road trip is a must-see in this part of the world. For daily updates on our travels, head over to our Instagram at Tide Not Travelers, or for exclusive behind-the-scenes content, we'd love you to join us on Patreon. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. <laughs> Smoothly done there, let me take the camera. Oh, yeah, uh, that wasn't smoothly done. Ow. Oh, did you get cracked on the head? <laughs> Adios! Hola! Felices vacaciones! Hola! <laughs> Here we are at Clan Clan Clan. <laughs> at lunch place, hopefully. After having lunch at the visitor centre, we've driven about a kilometre further up the road and we've stopped. There's. <laughs> After stopping for lunch at the visitor centre, we've driven a kilometre further up the road and we've now started the trail to Sendero Villa Chow Chow. Sendero Chero. Sendero Chero. After stopping for lunch at the visitor centre, we've driven a kilometre further along the road and we've just started the trail to Sendero. Villa Chow Chow. Not Villa. Still not Villa. After stopping for lunch at the After stopping for lunch at the tourist information centre, we've driven another kilometre further along the road and we've now started the trail to Circuito Chico Chow Chow. Mm. Circuito Chero. Nothing like